Corruption and border smuggling linked to the Munyo blast in Narati Wat. Call for top-level probe. Anti-corruption campaigner wants the activities of the trading firm at the heart of the explosion last Saturday in Munyo investigated by a high-powered police task force directed from Bangkok. He is concerned with a lack of licensing, safety standards and evidence of illegal activity supported by corrupt police officials and local politicians. One of the country's leading anti-corruption campaigners has called for a top-level police task force led by Deputy Police Chief General Shura Kathakparn to be appointed to probe the Munyo fireworks explosion which killed 12 people in Aradiwat province on Saturday and devastated an entire community. Achurai Ron Gratanapong believes that the company responsible for the explosion was engaged in cross-border smuggling and lacked the required permissions to handle the dangerous stock of fireworks, imported from China which left the busy Munyo market in Naradiwad and the surrounding area raised to the ground after the devastating blast. Anti-corruption activist Achurai Ron Gratanapong outlined his concerns to reporters on Thursday. He has called for a top-level police task force to investigate all the circumstances surrounding the Munyo blast last Saturday in which 12 people died with 300 properties destroyed, together with people's livelihoods in the Munyo district of Naradiwad which he is linked with corruption and illegality. One of the country's leading anti-corruption campaigners is calling for Deputy National Police Chief General Shurikat Hakeparn to be sent to Naradiwat province to investigate circumstances surrounding the massive explosion on Saturday which killed 12 people and raised to the ground the settlement centered on the Munyo market in the same district of the province. The massive blast left 300 premises and homes destroyed. It follows disciplinary moves, this week by police authorities in Bangkok and Naradiwat against key members of the force serving in Munyo based on suspicions raised by an extensive investigation into the blast that was ordered immediately on Saturday and matters relating to it which have come to light. Crime and corruption activist points to a complete lack of administrative oversight and illegal activity linked with the site of the massive explosion. Mr. Achurai Ron Gratanapong, the president of the Crime Victims Assistance Club, who just last year, was involved in an extensive police corruption expose in the same province, is ready to submit evidence to the national police authorities relating to police activities and governance to do with the fireworks warehouse which exploded on Saturday afternoon at 3 o'clock. Arrests ordered in Narati Wat fireworks blast, death toll reaches 12 with 300 homes ruined. Massive fireworks blast at a popular trading point in Narati Wat leaves at least nine people dead. Mr. Acharya has particularly requested General Shurikat to be appointed to investigate the matter following the success achieved by the senior police officer and fix-it point man in the last case. Big Joke or General Shurikat led last year's successful inquiry into police corruption at the highest level in the southern province of Narati Wat. Earlier this year, General Shurikat also known affectionately as Big Joke led a task force dealing with police corruption in the province which saw the then provincial police chief removed from office and senior commanders facing charges. In March 2023, General Shurikat, as the leader of the high-powered fact-finding task force produced a report which upheld serious allegations against former Narati Wat Police Chief Major General Waisami Sali with charges recommended against five people including three senior police officers linked to illegal activity including drug trafficking. The concerns in the Munio tragedy are thought to involve administrative deficiencies with five government agencies including the Ministry of Defense, the Ministry of the Interior, the Ministry of Labor the Ministry of Public Health and the Ministry of Industry. Dangerous fireworks being transported based on a photocopied permission that was out of date and repeatedly used when specific approvals were required. The anti-corruption campaigner questioned the administration of licensing laws dealing with the sale of fireworks that were stored at the Munyo premises on Saturday when the calamitous explosion occurred. This week, arrest warrants were issued for the owners of the property. One of the facets of the case revealed on Thursday was that no permission to build the warehouse had been granted and it had not been subject to proper inspection as required under the law. Acharya said that the owners of the warehouse were involved in the transportation of fireworks and were found to be repeatedly using a photocopy of an original permission granted previously when in fact, specific permission to transport any dangerous cargo was required on each occasion. He revealed that, in 2010, the provincial police had issued a letter to facilitate the transportation of fireworks to the owner of the warehouse. Documents showing the importation of fireworks from China but no declaration that taxes had been paid. This document suggested that the fireworks were imported from China via Lam Shabang Port in Chonbury and the campaigner thought this situation was abnormal as there appeared to be a false declaration. No import duty appeared to have been paid on the original cargo. The activist also found that monies were being paid to the local police at Munyo Police Station, 
varying in sums from 500 to 50,000 per month. This allowed for the ongoing operations of the trading firm which included the sale of fireworks as well as the sale of illegal oil on which no tax was being paid. Political Figures Supporting the Operation In effect, a substantial smuggling operation was being conducted according to the anti-corruption campaigner. Mr. Acharya said that he believed that there were political figures behind the operation in Naraniwat province and called for a fearless investigation into what was going on. In this context, he referred to the successful task force led by General Shurikat at the end of last year and up to March which resulted in a decisive outcome and the truth being revealed. He said he wanted to see a similar result in an investigation into the current outrage.